down to her grandchildren. When it comes down to passing a legacy to future generations, it is hard to beat the UK's National Trust. Established in 1895, the charity organization has 3.5 million members and owns over 600,000 acres of land, which is about nine times the size of Taipei City. The precious land and historical monuments are protected by British law and cannot be resold or developed. But first, we visit another protected area of land, the Land and Wetland Center, which is owned by the Wildfowl and Wetland Foundation. Called the tufted duck. Oh, tufted. It's diving. I dive. Yeah, they're diving ducks. Yeah. It's difficult to imagine that such a natural area of wetland is only half an hour's drive from central London. Twenty years ago, this used to be a reservoir that supplied drinking water to London's citizens. With modernization of public utilities, the reservoir fell into disuse. Then, with the support of the Wild Fowl and Wetland Trust, the London Wetland Centre was created. Crest on the head there. Uh, yeah. You can see it. Birdwatcher John comes to the centre many times a year. He is one of the 200,000 members of WWT who pull their energies to protect this rare area. The main thing is the, uh, the birds that are attracted here mm -hmm. that come in, they migrate in, in autumn. Right. The Arctic ones come south right. to, to escape the, the, the bad weather. Right. Uh, areas of the by handing the wetland over to a trust which does not control the rights to the land and cannot resell it, the environment must be protected forever. Making land inalienable is allowed in British law after the establishment of the world's oldest such conservation organisation, the National Trust. Because there was a lot of industry and bad housing and poor health and people didn't have any green space and so they set up a charity to acquire land in towns and cities for people to be able to have some healthy space. Away from London in the Lake District in northern England, the idyllic surroundings attract visitors all year round. The National Trust cares for a vast area of this land. Children's author Beatrix Potter drew on the unspoiled scenery of the Lake District as inspiration for her books. Not wanting to see the area overdeveloped, she used her royalties to buy the hilltop farmhouse and surrounding land, which she donated to the National Trust. People give money and land and buildings to the National Trust because it's their way of leaving something behind when they die that is permanent. Over a century old, the National Trust is backed up by over 3.5 million members and has successfully acquired 240,000 hectares of land. The Trust's slogan, Forever for Everyone, sums up the independent charity's belief that common ownership is the best way to protect the environment. To help better our environment in Taiwan and battle global warming, employees from five conglomerates have come together to form the Taiwan Energy Saving Patrol. All 90 members of the